dear audience, especially universitas terbuka students, wherever you are, we are in perancangan web pembelajaran TIPIN 4310 class today. We will discuss the topic Bloom Level 3, which is applying. So, uh, we have uh, learned about Bloom Level 1 and 2, remembering and understanding. So, now we go to Bloom Level 3 applying so what we have learned in uh, bloom level one and two is about remembering and understanding now we want to apply so how we want to apply it okay so um, i will guide you through this bloom level three activity here yeah? so please listen to me so first is about we want to create a three minute video so this three minute video is about an interview so you need to interview a person or a group about any issue related to your chosen topics why okay because this about applying so when we want to apply the information that we got in uh, remembering and understanding level just now that we want to apply the level one and two so uh, please think about any topic in your course or in your learning uh, course okay so now you think about it okay so we want to create a three minute video interview so think about any issue okay like uh, environment the theme is environment so when you think about the theme of environment, so there is a focus topic, example like pollution. So pollution, there's a lot of pollution, okay? Uh, several types of, there are several types of pollution, air pollution, water pollution, air, uh, and other pollution, but we want to choose a specific topic. So for example, like air pollution okay so that is the chosen topic so we want to create a three minute in video interview you need to do in video uh, interview a person or a group about air pollution okay ready so when you have done your interview you save the video okay so when you save the video you have the video with you okay so you need to create on your own the video the video interview and you can use the selected digital tool so when you want to create this video please use your own creativity okay so i suggest here there are two or more a digital application or digital tools that can be used to create the video if you use microsoft office 365 you find or you select the uh, sway okay okay this uh, tool sway can help you to create your own video okay so and also you also can upload your video to stream this stream you can find in microsoft office 365 and also you can upload this video that you have created into youtube okay into the youtube okay and but make sure that you uh, can take some time to create your video interview and you design it on your creativity so this uh, project uh, you can uh, make on your own and even in group depends on what your lecturer assign you in your course okay so you can make it in a group or individual project so based on the data collected from the interview i want you to design your infographic so you have the data or the uh, data collected from this interview that means you uh, put aside all the data okay so you can start design your infographic do you know what is infographic Oh, infographic is about uh, like you put all your information in terms of your findings, okay? In terms of your findings and also uh, statistics or whatever information that uh, include your uh, 
graph, okay, graph form, and also like um, uh, pie chart, and also you can uh, include your bar graph or tables, okay. So, and also you can have your flow chart. Everything is in infographic. So, how to use this infographic? How you uh, want? Uh, to use this infographic where you can get the infographic digital tools okay so I suggest there are two selected digital tools and the first one have you heard Canva in this uh, di digital millennia um, that we use uh, every day that uh, most of people use Canva okay for uh, and also they have like picto chart yeah uh, for uh, designing the info, the uh, the information into beca for becoming the infographics so the first one is called canva so canva you have the link here that http canva.com create infographic so you again you sign up you sign up this canva and you start to login once you log in, you can start use this Canva tool, okay, digital tool, this digital tool. That is a very interesting tools, okay. Uh, Besides you use this uh, as infographic, you also can use like you want to publish or create, you create or publish your news uh, poster, okay, a brochure, leaflets and etc. So, and if you use Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Office 365, I suggest you use Publisher. You know about Publisher in Microsoft Office? So, I'm sure that uh, this latest Microsoft Office 365 provides you with uh, like uh, very advanced okay, in publishing your infographics. So, it's, uh, but for Canva, you can use more uh, tools or ap uh, application for uh, creating this infographic. So after you have done with all these uh, tasks yeah, uh, to create, uh, to, to interview, uh, you have interviewed and you create the video and also you have your infographic. So you can upload your work into your Moodle or your YouTube okay so I want to show you now this is the example of uh, infographic that use Canva so here you can see that this is the Canva uh, interface okay so you have uh, canva.com but it's uh, already stated that this is Canva infographic so you can go straight to this interface so you log uh, sign up and then you log in you can start using your info infographic so you can make an infographic in a minutes okay uh, by using the tools that they have provided in this and you can design your uh, by using your own creativity uh, to um, create your infographic whether individual or in group so you have you now after you have done all these tasks you can start to publish your work or send it when your lecturer asks to uh, submit your project okay dear audience uh, thank you for your attention see you in another program we hope that this program will increase your competence in the future so keep study hard and success Thank you.